To figure out where you have the uh, ice brush, or not the ice brush, the snow brush, the ice scraper, the things that you need to have in your car because you won't be thinking much about it on Friday. You'll probably kind of be getting maybe the inside of the car ready, vacuuming it out. I know a lot of people will be out there. And then by Saturday, everything gets windy and we go from 60 to 30 in no time. And then the snow comes as we head into the beginning of next week. And then we have to think about Thanksgiving. It's in there. And we're not ready for the snow, I don't think, or at least our bodies really aren't ready for it. 2016, it's the warmest November so far. This is going to get knocked out of this first spot pretty quickly with the colder air that's coming in, but it has been so nice. Andy called it a whiplash earlier. I think that's a good word for it because we just haven't really had time to think about it. It's just been too nice. Our Friday's high is around 70. The record is 74, set back in 1958. So we are going to see if we could flirt with that going into the middle of the afternoon. Plenty of spots will be close to that 70 degree mark. And now talk about the warmth of the air temperature. The lake is pretty much on average 48 right now. The record is 53. And as we go into the upcoming weekend with the temperatures dropping, this is the number that we need to keep an eye on between what's right at the level or the surface of the lake and then what we have at 850 millibars. So uh, several thousand feet above us, we need to watch these two Two temperatures quite closely in order to see how things are going to fall. Is it going to be rain? Is it going to be snow? So that's what we're watching as well. Currently on 7 Super Doppler, we have nice dry scans. We have a mix of a uh, little bit of cloud cover and sunshine out there. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s for tonight. We drop into the mid 40s, so a very mild overnight. Notice these evening and overnight uh, winds come more southerly. Very light. It's not going to be a, a breezy overnight whatsoever, but we are going to notice the winds for the day tomorrow, they're southerly. It's going to be a nice warm breeze that comes into play tomorrow. We'll be near 70 for the high. Temperatures remain in the 60s. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's likely not something that we're going to see for several months as we go into the upcoming weekend and things just start to tumble on down. So here's how it looks for now. 70s as we go through the first half of our Friday. Cold front starts to make its approach on Saturday. Moving a little bit earlier would make it colder quicker and that would allow snow to develop a little bit faster as well. Saturday afternoon the frontal system comes in starting in the form of rain. Notice where we have these winds. All these little tiny lines that we have on here are the, where the wind direction is. That's coming from the southwest and that sets things up for us to get rain showers in Buffalo. We have it too warm in order for it to come down as anything else. But the higher elevations of the southern tier into Chautauqua County, anywhere from Clymer to Jamestown, Sinclairville, you're right on the cusp of that too, changing over to snow showers. That heads inland, notice Saturday evening and into the overnight for Sunday. Now this is the newest model run that's come out in trying to bring the next round of snow showers with a connection to the upper lakes with some snow for Buffalo early into Sunday morning. As we go through the day on Sunday, it's cold enough for all snow across the southern tier, likely seeing around a foot for the Chautauqua Hills, and then around three to six inches as you get into northern Cattaraugus County, southern portions of Erie County, say from North Collins southward, and a couple inches near Hamburg going out to Warsaw. Now, where the snow and the rain line is come Sunday is a big factor as to what we're going to see here for the city and for Lockport. What we do know for Chautauqua County, as we look at it, a solid foot of snow. You have to have the sn shovel already, the snow blower, and then whatever else you could have to help get rid of all of the snow that you're going to end up seeing. Of course, all of us here that you see are experienced weather forecasters for you. We are in constant email connection. Let me tell you, the emails that come out all day and every day since the beginning of this week, we've been talking about the changeover to snow since Tuesday. And now on Saturday, we're going to see that happen by next week. We are still in the mid-30s by Tuesday. Well, it's been a nice run run while we've had it. It's been wonderful. Since last Goodbye. March, really. Au revoir. All right. Thank you. <laughs>